So now we know President Obama will meet with some of the families from the victims of that shooting rampage in Oregon, killing nine people at a community college. The publisher of a, a newspaper not exactly rolling out the red carpet, telling Bill O'Reilly the president is not welcome. And the father of one survivor telling Fox News he thinks the president is playing politics with this tragedy. I mean, he did that say it was a tragic, you know, incident, and I do thank him for lowering the flags, but he made it all about gun control, and he was very clear about that, and, and you know, we saw this in Sandy Hook, and now we're seeing it again, and I just question his, his motives. That from last night. The host of the O'Reilly Factor, Bill O'Reilly, also author of the brand new book, Killing Reagan is out now. How you doing? All right, I'm the same. So you've been uh, talking about this all week. Yeah. What are they telling you out in Roseburg? Well, I mean, it's a conservative county. I worked in uh, Oregon. I worked at KATU TV in uh, Portland. And Douglas County is notoriously uh, conservative, but there's not a lot of people there. Multnomah County, where Portland is, dominates Oregon, uh, has most of the population, and that's why the state leans liberal. But outside of Portland, people are conservative, and this is very rural territory, so they want their guns for protection, hunting, that that kind of thing, sports. Um, and they don't like President Obama. They don't want uh, him to intrude on their right, uh, Second Amendment rights, and they don't want him to use this tragedy to try to advance that agenda. Um, it's tricky. You have the commander in chief who is also the consoler in chief at a time of, as a national tragedy. Um, how do you ride that line? How do you find the balance? Do you think the president should go? Yes, I do. Um, no matter if you like a president or not, it could be any president, you've got to respect the office. And, and a lot of Americans don't understand that. You have to respect the office of the presidency if you're a patriotic American. So he won the election. He is the president. If he goes to Douglas County to console the families, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. If he politicizes it, then I'm all over him and then he'll get hammered. I don't believe he's going to politicize it. But as I said last night on The Factor, there's a dual thing here because all politicians use everything to advance their agendas, and you have to watch that. But I, I think that the people in Douglas County don't have to fear any kind of stunt for the president mm. on Friday. Uh, we'll watch it on Friday, and we'll see the contrails of this in the coming days or weeks after that, too, to see whether or not yep. there's a political message in that. And some are arguing already there will be. It's going to happen. Donald Trump. Talk to him this week? I didn't talk to him this week. Did you talk to him last week? I talked to him last so week. The right. media is writing all week long about, yeah. hey, man, it's just a question of time. When For are you going to fold the tent? When are you going to pack why it would in? He, why well, would he pack it in? I'm he's, not he's suggesting ahead. he would or should, yeah. but they are writing these stories. When you talk to Trump, do you get any suggestion from him that he is willing to do that? No. Uh, Trump's ahead. He's uh, only spent $2 million so far, which is amazing because he's getting all the free media. The media is infatuated with him because he brings circulation and ratings, but they don't like him because his philosophy of governance is not theirs. So if I were Donald Trump, I would just ride the wave. Um, I believe he wants to be president. Um, you, you do? Yeah, I, I think he because does. Because so, some are suggesting, hey, it's setting in that it's a possibility now, and that's giving him second thoughts. No. I don't sense that, <laughs> do you? That's ridiculous. Um, but I don't think he's a man who's going to uh, stay it if he's falling in the polling. I mean, if, if he gets down uh, into the low teens, I think he might take a, a look at it. Mm. He doesn't need this, but I think it is something that he is uh, infatuated with. That's the word. I think Trump is infatuated with the political process right now. Hmm. Killing Reagan. Book number five in 481. The killing five in the Killing series. Henry, don't be a wise guy. <laughs> I'll talk to McCallum over there. I'll I talk got to you, you right away. Tell me okay. what I will learn about Reagan. Everything. That uh, I, don't I know thought now. I knew Ronald Reagan. Um, I covered his second inauguration, and I didn't know anything about him. And, and our research is, is just so impeccable. And uh, so we take you from Reagan's early days in Hollywood and how he became a movie star, and then how he became a politician off the movie star stuff. It's not a glorification of Ronald Reagan by any means. However, if at the end of the book, I have people writing me, I cried, you know, his courage, and that's the thing that I took away most. I didn't know Ronald Reagan was so courageous. 
uh, because it wasn't presented to the American people. After he was shot and almost killed, his whole physiology and psychology changed. And he's 70 years old when he gets mm -hmm. shot, so of course it's going to change. But none of us knew that. The White House didn't say anything about it. Certainly Nancy wouldn't say anything about it. But what happened to Ronald Reagan was stunning. And how he rose up by sheer will is, is a story, I think, that every American should know. A strong Midwestern man. Looking forward to seeing it and reading all about it. All right, Hammer. See you at 8 o'clock, all right? Thanks for having me in. We'll sick McCallum on you next time. We'll Please, see you. you know, see you later it's tonight. a frightening prospect. She's <laughs> on the factor tonight. I will be on the factor right. We'll be watching. Yeah, she's on the factor Do we tonight. have a topic yet? Or? A very big break for her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping it goes yeah. well. <laughs> we have a topic, but I don't even remember what it is, but I'm sure it. she'll handle it well. We'll be watching. Thank you, Bill. All right, you Thanks, bet. Thanks, Bill. We'll see you later.